Good morning. Here we are. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, I'm taking the day off to be with Rachel because she's a teacher and the schools get out uh, today. So um taking a, uh, we call it PTO. Uh, everybody used to call it, you know, your annual leave or your vacation or whatever, but uh, the church doesn't uh, have this as a holiday. So um, I'm, I'm, you can see I'm in the shop, I've got my uh, uh, computer out here. Um, anyway, this one's going to be short, going to be brief. Um, uh, we're still on that doctrine of humbling. Welcome to the ball cap Bible study uh, for what is today? The 16th. So, so here's my, here's my new ball cap. And I have a special prize. If somebody can leave a comment and tell me uh, what my, my hat is. So um, I don't think it'll be too hard for some of you, but I uh, just wanted to see if anybody's paying attention. So leave me a comment and uh, the first one to answer, uh, we'll get a special prize and I'll, I'll announce that uh, next week. So um, we're, We've we've flipped the script and we are doing the devotion before the announcements. Uh, everyone, the feedback I get seems to be positive on that, so we'll go with that. I hope you had a, a blessed weekend. I know many of you that see this are um, retired, and uh, every day is a day off, so it's not like um, uh, this day is any different for you. But uh, there will be celebrations all over the place, uh, and that's that's a good thing. All right. The doctrine of humbling. Wow. So I've been getting a little, um, I wouldn't call it pushback, but I've been getting uh, a little, um, what, what, what would I call it? Not, not resistance, but I've been, I've been getting uh, questions on, you know, where, where, where are you finding this doctrine of humbling and what is the, what, you know, because uh, everybody hears, you know, like the Trinity and the virgin birth and, you know, creation and, and all those things, but um, I can assure you, so a, a doctrine is not something that a denomination claims uh, as, as a truth. Matter of fact, we're, we're real big in the Baptist world on not going by creeds and things like that, um, but the a doctrine is just something that is, number one, it's got to be true, and number two, it's got to be, you know, consistent, uh, a theme that that runs throughout the Bible, and then you've, it also has to be, you know, literally spoken to. I mean, you know, you could you could say there's a there's a doctrine of of being nice. Well, it doesn't really say in the Bible, you know, you need to be. I mean, it says you know treat others the way you want to be treated and things like that. But being nice is an outcome. But there really is a doctrine of humbling. Um, you know, when you when you look up, you know what the word humble means. It's the opposite of of proud. Uh, but there are over three hundred verses that have the word humble in them, and then there are verses uh, about not being proud. Uh, so when when you it, it's it's a doctrine, and there are there are different types of humbling. Uh, God will humble you if He needs to. Look at look at Jonah you know, that kind of thing. Um, God will allow you to be humbled. Uh, we haven't even got to Job yet. And this is, well, I guess we did. We talked about when he prayed for his friends, but Job and, and others, God, God will allow you to be humbled. Um, so, so now we're talking about, you know, when, when he humbles you, that's his active will. And when he allows you to be humbled, that's his permissive will. Uh, I remember being in a church service years and years ago, and it was a, a Sunday evening, and it was like a, a testimony time, a, a praise or a whatever time. And this this lady stood up and said, um, I don't know why God chose to burn my house down, but I'm going to praise him in that anyway. And I was trying to, you know, I wanted to stay, I wanted to go to her later and say, I love you, but your theology is way off. God doesn't burn our houses down. Uh, he may not intervene. He may allow it to happen. Uh permit it, so to speak. But anyway, um, so God can humble you. He can allow you to be humbled. And uh, he, he really wants us to work on humbling ourselves, learn how to do that, learn how to walk away from pride and arrogance and, 
and uh, self-reliance. You know, you, you have to humble yourself to re rely completely on God and submit to his authority. So I said it was going to be short. Uh, just run over two or three verses that, that prove some of this. Um, of course, if you look at uh, Proverbs chapter six, uh, you know, there's a, uh, a verse towards about the last third of that chapter. And you've heard this, it says, there are six things the Lord hates, um, nay, yea, seven. Uh, and the very first one is haughty eyes. Uh, some translations will say an arrogant look or a proud look or um, arrogant eyes, that kind of thing. But it's your, you know, it's, it's talking about your, your, your countenance and your attitude and, and, and that um, vibe that you give off. So that, you know, you've, you've known those people that walk around like they're better than everybody else. You know, that kind of thing, that that proud, arrogant, you know, like, mm, um, you don't deserve my time kind of person. So that's doctrine, doctrine of humbling right there in Proverbs. Um, real famous verse. A lot of people um, claim it. You can see it, you know, on a plaque in Mardell's or whatever, uh, Hobby Lobby. But, you know, it's that. Second Chronicles uh, 714 verse, if my people who are called by my name uh, will humble themselves, pray, uh, turn from their wicked way, you know, seek, seek his face. So the very first thing that God wants us to do uh, as, as we search for restoration and, and that kind of thing is to humble ourselves. Uh, if that's not the doctrine of humbling, I, I don't know what is. And then um, in James, uh, talks about, you know, God gives even more grace and, and, um, uh, you know, he, he loves on the, the humble. I want to go to the exact, um, uh, verse on that. See if I can find that for you. Because I think it's, uh, something that, that we need to hear directly, um, from uh there are 269 verses with the word proud uh let's see if i can find that bear with me i should have been more prepared but i was having a little um uh, trouble with my computer this morning i had to update it and all this other stuff uh here we go all right here we go um this this talks about friendship with the world and hostility toward god but it says uh in verse six but he gives us more grace. This is why it says God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And he's referring to uh, an Old Testament verse. So grace, more grace is given in humility. So I hope you can see that there's really a doctrine of humbling. Um, and we'll next week we'll go through and see some more um, characters or, or, you know, people, in the Bible, they're real. They're not. They're not like Disney characters. These are real people, real history. Uh, the Bible is a real uh, narrative, and 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 our story. Uh, you know of, of how we've walked with God as as people. Um, okay, now to the announcements. I hope that blessed you. I hope hope I made sense. I hope uh, you see the doctrine of humbling. That doctrine, that thing that that runs throughout the Bible. That's true. That's consistent and persistent. Um, and uh, it's a you know, it's, it's, it's part of our faith It's part of, you know, if you want to get closer to God, get more humble, you know, um, and if, if you're one of his children and you are not going in a direction he wants you to go, uh, i.e. Jonah, uh, he'll reach out and humble you. He'll, he'll, he'll do what it takes to bring you back. Some, sometimes I've seen it. Uh, he'll humble you to death, uh, cause he isn't going to lose you. All right. So announcements. Um, all you non Quail Springs folks uh, probably can bail out now if you want to. But uh, so announcements um, uh, tomorrow, Tuesday at 11 a.m. in the parlor, we have Pray for the Nation. Our first one of the year is going to be special. Uh, you know, we want we claim that that verse. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and and all that. So uh, that's you know one of the components of that verse is pray. And so, uh, you know, praying is, is part of the doctrine of humbling because 
you know, you have to, you're humble to a point. You admit, I need you, God. I, you know, you are the source of my strength and, you know, all perfect things are from above, all that. So um, we'll be praying for the nation tomorrow at 11 in the parlor, 11 a.m. I shouldn't have to say that. 11 a.m. in the parlor. Please come. Um, man, this, this nation needs prayer. Uh, we see it every day, all the time. Um, beyond that, uh, Wednesday, uh, we'll be starting the early bird special. Uh, we're going to go through the Bible. Um, it's going to, I've, I've mentioned this before, it's going to take a year and a half. That'll be in our lecture hall area. We call it the Leadership Center. So it's on the second floor uh, on the far east side. It's, it's kind of... Um, Looks like a college uh, uh, lecture hall. It's got, you know, uh, different levels and chairs and everybody gets a desk and that kind of thing. So um, if you struggle with stairs, there's lots of room on that first row and and um, uh, it's not very hard to get in there. But this is for you folks that want to uh, come to uh, the, the Wednesday night dinner, but don't want to get home at 8 p.m. or have to stay till 730 or don't drive in the dark, that kind of thing. So we're going to be going through the Bible. It's going to be a uh, a Bible overview, and every week we'll do a different book. Um, now, tomorrow, not tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, oh, and I've, I've had some questions too, because I've, I've said 3.30 or 4. The actual, you know, study will start at 4. So if you're not there till 4 or 4 or 5, no big deal. Um, but I'll be there at 3.30 with the room open and setting up and you know, making the coffee and that kind of stuff. So if um, if you want to get there at 3.30 and, and help me out or just hang out and uh, I'll throw on some music and, uh, you know, we'll just, uh, we can visit and fellowship before. That's fine. That'll be a lot of fun, actually. So it's at 4, 4. It's not uh, at 3.30. So I apologize if I uh, confused anybody with that. Uh, but the, the actual teaching part, um, I don't feel like i I'm I'm a Bible expert by any means, but we'll we're actually going to learn a lot of stuff together. But we're going to go through the whole Bible. All right, there's 66 books in the Bible. Well, if plus plus the overview. So Wednesday we're just going to do an, a broad overview of the whole Bible, um, and and really think about it with with only 45 minutes to an hour. You, you know, it, it's going to be broad overviews. We're not going to go deep um, in any of the books. We're going to look at themes and and you know, uh, motivations and all sorts of stuff, characters, that kind of thing. But, and then, but mostly I want us to see connectivity. I want us to see how, you know, James is connected to Deuteronomy and that kind of stuff. Um, okay. So with that, um, 66 books in the Bible, obviously due to weather, due to holiday schedules, due to different things, we don't meet every Wednesday. So guess what? There's 52 weeks in a year. It's going to take us like a year and a half uh, to go because we're going to do one, you know, book a week plus the the overview and then probably some kind of conclusion or wrap up at the beginning of each week. If if you have some questions uh, from the last week, we'd, we'll we'll do some of that too. So I want it to be interactive. I want it to be fun. Um, I don't want it to be dull and boring. The, I want the Bible to come alive. Uh, that kind of thing. We'll we'll do that. Um, what else is going on? Oh, at the end of this month, which is only a couple of weeks away. Um, on the 30th and 31st, uh, we're going to host what used to be called the Evangelism Conference. I still call it that. Now they call it the Advanced Conference because, um, you know, a lot of times when when a company or a group will go out and, and plan for the future, they call it a retreat. We're, we're, we're going to go on a retreat and we're going to, well, they want to call this an advance because retreat, you know, sounds like you're backing up. But, you know, we're advancing, right? Onward Christian soldiers. Um, so, that's uh, going to be uh, at our church at Quell Springs Baptist Church. Uh, the advanced conference will be lots of neat speakers and music and fun and fellowship. And uh, I think vendor booths will be set up and it'll be it'll be pretty neat. So I encourage you to come out to that and, uh, you know, uh, get some tools, uh, hear from some people, hear some praises and success stories and that kind of stuff. Uh, I always enjoyed the uh, evangelism conference uh, a lot. And um, what else is going on? Um those are the big East course Wednesday night uh, dinners and and um, that kind of thing. Uh, this week, all of our a lot of our classes start back at Grief Share uh, starts up Wednesday and Thursday, Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Um, so if if you've had a, a rough year, if you lost somebody, if you if that's something you need to you know wrestle with, deal with, 
man, the, the, I, all, all I know is the people that we have leading it are some of the best in Oklahoma. So, uh, you know, you might consider that just call up to Jessica or the church and, and, uh, we'll get you signed up for grief share. Um, it's a process. There's a book. It has a, you know, it's, it's very structured, but, um, I've just heard wonderful things, uh, from people that have gone through that. So, um, we have other, lots of others. We've got divorce care. We've got grief share. We've got, uh, survivors of suicide loss that Phil Holman and Dixie do, and they're phenomenal. Um, if you're struggling with that, we've got celebrate recovery on Monday nights. Um, um, you know, maybe someone listening to this doesn't need it, but they have a friend or a family member or a coworker that struggles with something. And it's not just drug and alcohol. I mean, it could be anger management. It could be, you know, depression. I mean, it could be all sorts of things. Um, and they're, you know, that's a, that's another one that's been around a while and has good structure and, and chemistry to it. So, uh, that's on Monday nights at five 30, I think, I think the actual stuff starts at six 30, but I think there's a, a meal at five 30 every, every Monday night, uh, that's in the parlor and in the worship or in the chapel. Um, that's a good thing. Celebrate recovery is a good thing. Uh, so, um, what else? Those are the biggies. Um, so had a great winter Bible study with Bobby Kelly. And, uh, I think, I think I'll let y'all go. Um, I think with the announcements, this, this was longer than I wanted it to be, but I think, uh, that front end on on that doctrine of humbling uh was just about right so all right i'll see y'all next week hopefully i'll see some of you wednesday in the in the lecture hall uh we'll start at 4 p.m uh with our early bird special and we'll start uh looking at uh the bible from thirty thousand feet in the air all right love y'all bye